Hello. This is our new design of a fountain for Persian cats. It's in a size large and it comes with different uh, inserts with different drinking openings or drinking indentations. This one for example has three, this one has five. The diameter of uh, this opening is approximately, what is it? One and a and it, well, it's less than one and a quarter. It's approximately one and an eight, bit more than one and an eight. The diameter of this one is uh, one and a half. So I can do every design, every number, if possible, and diameter you like to have and what fits for your cat. Usually for small Persian cats with a lot of facial hair, hair uh, this small one and a quarter, one and an eighth opening is just good enough. I even have one with one inch, but it's for my taste, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit small. But maybe your cat needs to have an even smaller opening. Or if you have a dog with uh, a little dog with a lot of facial hair, then maybe this one and a half or even bigger two inch opening would be, would be good. So you see it's possible to even put four of this bigger openings into this lid. So as you can see in here, the water circulates underneath. I'll open it. Or let's demonstrate how solid this thing is. You see here on this side, the lid is secured with cotter pins. It's stainless steel. You can adjust the cotter pins. Where do I have my... here. You can adjust the cotter pins with uh, a plier with a flat head. You see it's a bit, uh, it has a gap in between. So you can adjust it a bit more by bending this part up front. And then it's difficult for your cat to pull it out. Now it's relatively easy and if you have a rebunctious cat and the playful cat and she made he or he might be pull it out but when you bend it a bit more then it's too strong for the cat to pull it out so this prevents the lid from being lifted up and so your cat can't lift it up and can't uh, take the fountain apart so this thing you see how solid it sits so this sits oops this sits here in, in this uh, 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 grooves and the grooves, the grooves hold this, uh, hold this uh, insert, lid insert in place. Without the lid insert you have a little arc. You can adjust the arc at the pump, the pump has a uh, flow control, you can adjust it. The water flows back through this backflow area. There are little holes in it. I guess you can see it, yeah. There are little holes in it. And this hole catch uh, debris, bigger debris like uh, food rests, hair, etc. You even can put a uh, foam part inside for catching uh, yeah, a bit smaller stuff. But uh, you don't have to. It's the little parts, the little holes are big enough to uh, or small enough to catch all the debris that's necessary to catch that it doesn't go into the pump. So if you like to let the fountain run without the insert then you also and use the foam. Then you have this part you can put in the opening to hold the foam in place so it doesn't swim up or your cat won't uh, uh, play with it and get it out. To get this part out I have a little tool. It comes with a fountain. 
just grab it and foam and this thing will come easily out. So inside this bowl is the filter and the pump. The pump, as I said, has a flow control. With the flow control you can adjust the flow. So let's put this one in place again. Okay, in place. So it's the same with the one with the smaller holes. So you see here are the grooves and they fit inside and so it's wobble free and it's you can't move it around. So at the moment the fountain runs with a DC power supply, you see it's a small 4.5 volt AC-DC adapter, it plugs into your wall outlet. As another possibility you can let it run with a uh, USB battery, you just plug it into this uh, outlet. I have an adapter, you put the adapter in here, plug the pump in and then it runs with a uh, yeah, USB adapter, a USB battery. You can also have a, a holder for, for D-cell batteries. It holds three or four D-cell batteries and then your fountain runs with three or four D-cell batteries. So, filter. Let's come to the filter. Inside is pump and filter, as I said, you have three possibilities of filters. You can have the uh, uh, Trinkwell 360, let's open it, let's disconnect it and open it. So, let's look inside and then you see how easy it is to assemble, deassemble and clean the thing. It's easy. You just put it in your dishwasher and let it run through the dishwasher. Not a big deal. So okay, so inside. So pour the water into the bowl and here you see here is the filter, in this case Trinkwell 360 goes into uh, the middle of the lid and down, down here, uh, this side, down here you have the pump. The pump has a flow control and there you can adjust the water flow. Let's Put it to mid. Uh, let's push it inside again. Oops. So let's start it. And you can see it's barely a flow now. But it's up to you. You can adjust it like you need it or how your cat likes it. So, filter. Uh, we offer three different filters. This one is a 360 inside. Let's open it to show you. Here is a 360 cartridge. It's a drink well cartridge used in all the drink well fountains, all the 360 fountains and so So one of these two filters is included in the price of the fountain. You can choose which one you would like to have. For a additional charge you can have uh, the biofilter with a UV light inside. This is the same construction 
but it has a oops so let's put it out it has a UV light and the UV light uh, disinfects sterilizes uh, yeah the water flowing through this thing you have uh, same thing you put the charcoal back inside fold it on top put your filter inside uh, your UV light inside use the cable put the cable through the opening put this uh, o-ring on top as uh, the o-ring is uh, FDA approved uh, silicon so and close it up and seal it okay so this one goes into a 12 volt goes to a 12 volt uh, uh, out a uh, DC uh, power supply it's low voltage as well and yeah and the same otherwise other things are the same pump this side and spout this side so this are the three filters you can choose from you make this fountains in different sizes from small to small, medium, large, this one large and XXL. XL. I haven't done an XXL fountain, but it's possible to. So this large fountain holds approximately 1.3, 1.5 gallons, depends on the height of the of the bowl. I'll make it in different heights depending on yeah what's good for your cat if you have a big cat can drink out of a higher fountain or a smaller cat then we can the fountain a small Persian cat even I can make the fountain down to 4.5 inches this one has a bowl height of approximately 5.5 inches so then I come down to 4.5 inches, it's approximately this high, so it's easy to reach even for a small cat. Okay, let's put the fountain together again, just to show you. Pump, the pump has a flow control, as I told you, you can detach the pump here, open it up pull the impeller out, clean it in case you have to and put it, rinse it, put it back together. You can use a Q-tip to clean the axle and the opening where the impeller is in. Then put it back together, adjust your flow control or you can let the flow control out completely if you don't need it, if you are good with maximum setting and uh, yeah and yeah put it together put the cable through this uh, gap here in the back you see the lid has a marking this marking is where the gap is so you put it like this so and then we will attach so it's a bit difficult with wet hand but anyway it works okay so good so if necessary you can put the collar pins in if not just don't do it and then we'll put the no. okay you see it's it sits perfectly and let's switch it on 
So here you can see the movement in the indentation. So you have always fresh water for your kitty. And the water is just underneath the opening, so when kitty drinks, her facial hair will always be on the dry side. And if this opening doesn't fit, you can have a different, a different uh, insert with uh, different openings, opening sizes or different amount of openings, so it's not a big deal. Okay, this is our new design for Persian cats. Thank you.